what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so it looks like we may have something to talk about in regards to nightmare on elm street or at least it would appear so from something new line cinema who we know distributed almost every single one of the nightmare on elm street films uh we know what's craven helm the original he wrote the screenplay for the original rest in peace Wes Craven he's brought us so many iconic figures in the horror community and Freddy Krueger is one of the main ones he's part of the, the big three for the horror genre so as you see here in this tweet it says seven eight gonna stay up late nine ten never sleep again coming from New Line Cinema's official Twitter account and then prior to that they were tweeting out all the other things that came before that as you know one two Freddy's coming for you three four better lock your door five six so on and so forth Many people started speculating that this means that there is movement going on with the franchise. Now, there is movement going on with the franchise. I'm going to get into that in a later portion of the video. However, New Line Cinema quickly cleared up that, not quickly, I'll say. They, they made it clear that they're not doing anything other than just teasing and making, poking fun and getting people excited for the holiday season since October is horror month, the horror month of Halloween. Halloween isn't an actual holiday, but you you get my point. So there's nothing to see there. It doesn't look like they are trying to tease us with anything. Now, what I do want to say is that, of course, that could be their way of flaming the fire because you could easily come out and say you're not doing that when, in fact, you are doing that. You just want it to be an even bigger surprise down the line when you announce what's happening. So maybe they're trying to keep the keep the fire down a bit just to keep people at ease until they make that official announcement to shock everyone. Uh, again, Freddy Krueger is a very iconic character. We know he was brought to life by Robert England, who does a phenomenal job portraying the character, not only in the original classic, but in the second second film, the third film, which is argu arguably the best sequel, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Dream Warriors. He portrays Freddy again in Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, The Dream Warriors, not The Dream Warriors, The Dream Child and The Dream Master, which was part four and five. And then we have the abysmal Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, which was part six. And that's honestly one of the worst films I've ever seen in my life. One of the worst horror films I've ever seen. And it's just a shame how this character, he's so iconic, but the films themselves, it, it just goes to show you how, how far acting can get you. Because Robert England, no matter what the material was, good or bad, and a lot of the later sequels, they were just crap. He made this character his own. He is forever going to be not notice, notified and recognized for his portrayal of Freddy Krueger because regardless of part four five and six being a downward spiral Robert England still brought his a-game he has made a iconic character in the horror community and fans of the genre have been desperate to see this character brought to life again and it's just sad that nothing has come to fruition with with this character but getting back to what I want to say as I mentioned earlier we do know that there's at least some type of movement with this character and with this franchise because we know Wes Craven unfortunately passed away in 2015, but his estate, the estate of Wes Craven, they did gain the rights back or they gained the rights for the Nightmare on Elm Street film and the character of Freddy Krueger. Bloody Disgusting did report something I think late last year sometime. They stated that they can exclusively report that Craven's estate has begun work on resurrecting Freddy as they are actively taking pitches for a new Nightmare on Elm Street. While we don't know exactly what the estate's plans are or if they have any distributor financial deals in place, we have heard they're looking for both feature film pitches and also concepts for a possible HBO Max series. Again, we do not know the extent of their plans and it's also entirely possible they don't know what they want either. So just looking at this for a quick second an hbo max series i could see that working if we are talking about exploring freddy krueger before he became freddy krueger because as we know uh the franchise itself the original film revolves around a group of friends nancy thompson and her friends who are terrorized by a dream demon who has a connection to their parents because their parents we come to find it that he this dream demon in in life he was a child killer and the town or in the, and the parents of elm street grouped together or came together as a group to take him out after um 
an issue occurred with his court hearing and he was set free due to a technicality issue so we know that we know that the franchise itself or that original film revolved around that and it branched out into these later sequels as well just expanding on that in the mythos of freddy krueger we know nancy thompson is now recognized as one of the one of the best final girls to ever exist alongside with sydney prescott laurie strode you know all of those iconic horror final girls that we all are very familiar with so an hbo max series i would like to see if that was what they were going to go with because they're, they're accepting pitches if they were going to go with an hbo max series i could i would like to see just a series going into what he was like prior to becoming this dream demon because we know we get clarity on how he exactly did that how that happened we find that out in part six and it's just just like oh like it's part six is just so so asinine I, I i can barely bring myself to watch it at times it's just so bad and we haven't seen robert england even portray this character since freddy versus jason in 2003 and when I say we haven't seen him portray, I'll clarify because I, I know I'll get people in the comment section. We haven't seen him portray this character in a feature film for the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise since Freddy vs. Jason. He's made appearances in the makeup recently over the past couple of years for other things, but they had nothing to do with being a feature film or any type of TV series related to the original continuity. Um, so if they do an HBO Max series, would love to see something detailing what Freddy's life was like prior to him becoming this demon uh would love to see more things from his childhood perhaps because that's one thing about nightmare on elm street 6 that was somewhat interesting because at least you're diving into what makes freddy krueger freddy krueger in ways not really giving us too many concrete answers but we get a better understanding that he had a horrible upbringing of course since he was in a lot of abusive homes in and out of foster care it seemed so going from that route jumping into pitches for films what would we even be able to do at this point because i don't see robert england robert england himself has has stated he doesn't see himself portraying this character again because he's too old but a lot of people have speculated about this gentleman kevin bacon kevin bacon portraying freddy krueger that was something i was not up for but at this point after seeing so much of kevin bacon and reconsidering and knowing that kevin bacon is a talented actor um i'd like to see what he could do with this character i something about him now just seems to me to scream freddy krueger and it might have to do with the fact that so many people have hyped it up so he's actually come out and stated that he would love to portray that character so i'd be up for that and i know a lot of fans of this franchise and fans of the horror genre and just diehards who want to see kevin bacon that's like fan fiction come to life if they actually manage to get kevin bacon in this makeup and he gives us a phenomenal performance that's an homage to what robert england brought us and then giving his own new spin on it that's just going to be fan fiction brought to life the best best possible way imaginable and also giving us a good script to go along with it too that'll just be perfect but i don't see where else you would go with a film because i don't think I don't I don't I don't see where you would go because the last time we actually saw Freddy Krueger in the original continuity was him being dragged out of the water with Jason holding his head at the end of Freddy versus Jason. So where would you go from there? I'm thinking you would ignore Freddy versus Jason and then set this immediately after Freddy's dead or what I'd probably do is I'd ignore it because we're going to talk about retcons. That's just a new thing. <laughs> Let's just talk about retcons. I would ignore Friday the 13th, or not Friday the 13th, I'd ignore Nightmare on Elm Streets Part 4, 5, and 6, and Freddy vs. Jason, and of course, Wes Craven's new Nightmare, even though that isn't even, you don't even need to ignore that because it exists on its own, completely different film. I'd ignore those movies and just have a direct sequel to Dream Warriors. Try to do a sequel to Dream Warriors of some sort and go from there. And who would I like to see? Helm and direct? Uh, or direct and write the film. I'd like to see a combination of Lee Wanell and James Wan working on a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. I think they would do an amazing job with it. But those are just my thoughts. I just wanted to come out and clarify a few things about what was going on on Twitter um, and just share my thoughts on what I would like to see for the future of this franchise if they go with another film or TV series. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my, all my Facebook, all my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.